So well, let's go to real estate. I don't know if a lot of your listeners are real estate yeah. people or not. Yeah. So I think it was my third rental property. And so first mistake is I was buying rental properties that I liked, not necessarily the ones that would cash flow the best. Mm. So part of the problem is it was a little bit too upscale for the rental market. So what do you get? You get bad. You get people who don't have the greatest credit, that kind of stuff come through. Yeah. And I, I think I was super busy with other things in life. I had turned this tenant down before. When they saw my ad, they came back in for this other property. They, I got decent recommendations for them from the current tenant and from a neighbor. There were red flags on the um, credit issues. And one of my guys said, yes. My other person said, no. And you always have to understand their viewpoints to know yes and no and their skin in the game. And we rented to them. Mm -hmm. And then more red flags started to show up. And it, it was the fact of not dealing with the red flags, right? Just not doing the hard thing, not yeah. calling it out and not putting somebody between me and the problem, right? Because that's what I've learned in real estate. It's a lot easier when there's a, uh, a, a you know, a project manager, or, you know, somebody yeah. between you and the renter. So I think that was part of it. The second, not constantly doing the follow-ups, not doing the hard line stand. And so, and, and then the other thing was literally as soon as they rented it, the guy quit his job and started a business. Another mm. red flag, right? <laughs> cash flow problems. Or you know that cash flow problems are probably coming. Yeah. And again, just not not taking the action that you needed to take. Eventually, um, we had to evict. That process took time. But more than that is they trashed the place yeah. beyond belief. So you know, you walk into a place that is high end, that's got a massive, massive rebuild going on. And so having to, you show up and having to go through that process, like, Hey, we got to push through this. And it, I think it took us six or seven months to rehab the place. That's how Damn. bad it was, you yeah, know, with the brutal. smell and, and everything else. Um, but it's just pushing through it. Right learning, okay, I just got to take one more step. What do I do first? What do I do second? The neighbors were all screaming. I'm like, uh, I can't change everything in 30 days, like in three days. You got to give me time um, to clean it out and do this stuff. But at the end, the neighbors loved it because we got the highest price on the street when we sold that house. So they all were like, oh, my God, we never thought we could get this much money. So you houses. made them money in the end. We made the money in the end. Yeah. But I, I didn't put up just dealing with the red flags. And, and I've learned now, like now when my guy says no, it's a no. Like yeah. he run, he runs my credit. He looks at my credit and I don't argue anymore. I don't think yeah. I'm smarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but you just got to keep showing up, right? You, you, you figure a way out. There's all, it was interesting to learn through that whole process because it wasn't a traditional rehab. You know, you have to go through more and just figuring all that out and understanding you can fix anything if you just show up and take the next step. 